A lot of people heading down to the draft are planning to use ride sharing apps like Uber or Lyft, but that doesn't mean you won't have to walk to get to the main entrance. Kami, tonight's Peyton Headley, live outside Crown Center. And Peyton, you spoke with an Uber driver on some tips to get around. Right, well, if you're calling a ride, they say to type in World War I Museum, and it's going to take you to the designated drop-off spot at East 27th Terrace. From there, you're going to have to walk about 10 minutes to get to the main entrance. As for pickup, East 27th Terrace is also a designated pickup spot, as is here at Crown Center, but overall, there's likely going to be a lot of congestion. Uber drivers are asking you to be patient. Are you guys good to go? Foster Pest spends most of his day in his car. I do I meet a lot of interesting people all the time. For more than a year now, he's been working as a professional Uber driver. It's kind of fun for me and just kind of socializing with strangers, I guess. He says he's excited for the crowds coming this week for the NFL draft. Well, definitely large crowds of people, a lot of people getting rides. Pest is planning to work longer and later hours. He says that's the case for a lot of drivers. I know that a lot of drivers are going to be out just because they know there's more people on the road and that they're going to be getting more rides and more upcharges. With thousands of people likely calling rides, he says there are some ways to make your trip a little smoother. If you're booking a ride, walk a couple streets down, get away from the huge crowd of people because odds are everybody's booking rides in that same area. and. Your driver is not going to be able to find you and it's going to be really difficult. He also says be prepared for rides to cost more than usual. So if you don't like crowds, maybe stay home. <laughs> but Overall, he's excited for the rush and hopeful it will mean more money. It's going to be a, an exciting time. There's going to be a lot of energy in Kansas City. And some more advice, of course, always check the license plate before you get into that car. Reserve a, buy, reserve a ride in advance if you can. And of course, be patient with your driver. Live at Crown Center, Peyton Headley, KMBC 9 News. You know.